Anybody who's been outside today knows that we had a beautiful day, and the last couple of days have just been beautiful. So it's hard to believe that the summer is actually coming to a close. Um, but as it does end, I want to take a few minutes this afternoon to highlight something that's very important to us in New Hampshire and to the country, and that is tourism, particularly the Outdoor Industry Association, and its importance to local economies in New Hampshire and across this country. New Hampshire has long recognized the importance of conservation and the economic benefits that come from supporting outdoor recreation. Um, our beautiful state, like Connecticut, um, has an abundance of natural treasures. The White Mountain National Forest, our scenic lakes, our Coastline, we may only have 18 miles of coastline, but it's beautiful with beautiful beaches and rocky coves. These treasures draw visitors from across New England and from really all over the world. Protecting these natural resources is not just good for the environment, it's also critical to our economy. In fact, the outdoor recreation economy supports 53,000 jobs in New Hampshire alone. 6.1 million American jobs across the country. That's more than we have in the construction industry, in finance and insurance industries, or in the education industry. And even in this times of economic recovery, outdoor recreation produces $646 billion in direct consumer spending. Again, that's more than the pharmaceutical industry motor vehicle parts, and household utilities. Americans today spend nearly as much on snow sports as they do on internet access, and considerably more on bicycle gear and trips than on airplane tickets and fees. This is all detailed in a report called the Outdoor Recreation Economy, which um, is a very interesting analysis of just what the outdoor recreation economy means to this country. I recently had the opportunity to visit Eastern Mountain Sports. EMS is a New Hampshire-based business that specializes in outdoor apparel and equipment. And at EMS, I saw the direct economic benefit that comes from our support for the development and conservation of outdoor recreation areas. I had a chance to talk to some of the 300 or so employees at EMS. They have stores throughout the East Coast, and they're just one example of the countless businesses that have grown strong thanks to the careful stewardship of our beautiful areas in this country, of the landscape that so many of our, their customers visit. Now, one of the ways that we have preserved the great outdoors at the federal level is through the Land and Water Conservation Fund. The fund was created in 1965, and it protects lands, forests, state and local parks, and critical wildlife habitat. This critical program also helps ensure hunting and fishing access, something also very important in New Hampshire. It supports battlefields, trails, sporting facilities, and outdoor recreation opportunities in every state. Every year since I arrived in the Senate in 2009, I've led a letter with Senator Leahy of Vermont to Senate appropriators that supports robust funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund. The most recent letter was signed by 44 senators from both sides of the aisle, a very strong showing of bipartisanship from supporters who know that this is a program that works for the environment and works for small businesses. I'm also pleased to co-sponsor legislation, bipartisan legislation, that's led by Senator Bingaman that would permanently authorize the Land and Water Conservation Fund through dedicated funding. In New Hampshire, the LWCF has supported more than 650 local recreation and conservation projects, and it helps protect locations like the White Mountain National Forest, the Appalachian Trail, the Ambegog National Wildlife Refuge, and the Silvio Conti Wildlife Refuge. These scenic locations, whether they're enjoyed for relaxation, for exercise, 
They support jobs and local economies by increasing the demand for outdoor recreation equipment and by attracting visitors to our state. Those visitors eat in our restaurants, they shop in our small businesses, they stay in some of the most beautiful hotels you'll find anywhere in America. And the outdoor economy supports tourism, and tourism should be recognized as the economic engine that it is throughout this country. The travel and tourism industry is one of the top 10 industries in 48 states in the country. It supports over 14 million American jobs. And in New Hampshire, travel and tourism is our second largest industry, supporting over 60,000 jobs. I had the opportunity yesterday with a number of small business owners and representatives from New Hampshire to visit Brand USA, which is the national initiative that is the result of travel and tourism legislation passed by the Senate and Congress in 2010 to begin advertising the United States outside of this country. They have advertisements now in Canada, in the UK, in markets that are important as we think about how we attract visitors to the United States. Now, in New Hampshire, it's not difficult to see why tourism is so important. Visitors are drawn to New Hampshire for our charming attractions, for our landscapes, for our foliage, which is about to begin, actually. And they provide a beautiful environment for families to spend time together. Um, during August, my husband and I actually had the opportunity to take all of our grandchildren, our seven grandchildren, our entire family, 14 of us, up to the White Mountains. We stayed at the Mount Washington Hotel, which is at the base of Mount Washington. It's a beautiful hotel where the Bretton Woods Monetary Conference was held back in the late 1940s. And we had a great time. We went hiking. My oldest grandson went fishing with his father. One of my granddaughters went horseback riding with my daughter. We visited the Flume, which is a naturally occurring gorge in New Hampshire. We ended the several days that we were there visiting a place called Clark's Trading Post, which is a great family business in New Hampshire. Um, they have, they work with bears, black bears, who roam the woods of New Hampshire, and they've been working with them for 50 years. So it's, it's a real trained bear show. In addition to that, they have attractions from New England. They have a railroad. Just a great place for the family to spend the afternoon. This was a wonderful trip. It brought our family closer. It allowed the cousins to visit with each other. Um, we came back rested, restored. We had a great time investing in New Hampshire businesses. And as our family saw last month, conservation programs like LWCF are part of what we need to do to make sure that those kinds of experiences are available to everybody in New Hampshire and across this country. They're part of our responsibility to safeguard our environmental heritage. And more than that, as the outdoor recreation economy shows, and as so many reports show, they are an economic imperative that support millions of jobs nationwide. I'm going to continue to work to strengthen programs like the Land and Water Conservation Fund, work to continue to promote tourism and the outdoor recreation economy. And I urge all of my colleagues to join these efforts because they not only protect America's great outdoors, but they support the businesses and the outdoor recreation economy that they sustain. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka.